What's up everybody? After a long time we're back and in this episode we're gonna implement the wall slide and the jump. It's gonna be something like this. Slide, jump, slide, jump. Woo! Let's jump into it. Before we jump ahead and build the script, I have to explain how this whole thing works. We have our fox here and then the point is whenever we jump into a wall and keep touching the wall, you know like keep pressing right, he's gonna fall in a decreased speed. Let's, let's say he's falling in a speed of 1, but when we touch the, the wall he's gonna fall in a speed of for example 0 0.2 or 0 0.3 or 0 0.5, it depends. And that how that works is we have to detect whether we're touching the wall in some sort of a uh, what's it called uh, like a trigger the same things for floor and, and, and the header and we have to get other stuff like when we're falling down if we left it we, we take it off and we have to take into consideration some other stuff like the jumping which will go in details when we build the script but before we build the script we have to modify our level when, by that I mean we need to trigger the wall sliding only on the walls but right now we have this wall like what's called the tile map the floor wall is the same thing basically we have the floor and wall in the same layer we need to make another layer called wall which we have here but we have to assign it to the different tile map so what we're going to do is we're going to create a tile map tile map and let's call it tile map walls I'm going to put it here. I'm going to delete the, the word walls here. Oops. I'm going to delete the word walls. So I'm going to keep this floor. Before we create anything here, this tile map is basically empty. You see that nothing happens. Whereas this one has all this stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the tile map window, the palette, sorry, and start. Let's choose this one. And before we add anything, we have to choose the floor and then go delete and start deleting the, the walls because we don't want the walls to be part of the floor these ones are not considered like straight walls so I'm gonna ignore them I'm gonna tackle these ones here and of course this one with this happened we, uh, we have to go to the walls and start painting and uh, let me make this bigger let me choose this I'm gonna put one type of wall I think it's fine let's set the purpose we can put different variations we're good let's do the same thing for the left side here so these ones have uh, some sort of a curve here I think that's fine and the one here is uh, probably one of these I think it's this one, you know, I think it's this one here, like this, probably make it like this. So we have this setup. We close the palette and then what we see here, if we, if we hide the walls, only the walls will be triggered. The next thing we have to do, we have to make sure that the time up of the walls is layer type wall. Next thing we need to do is, I'm going to have to implement this in the Fox script. Let's jump inside. We have to create two things, actually probably three things. The first one is we have to break, create a transform and the layer mask. This is, will be similar to the ground layer, but I'm going to call this wall layer. And this one instead of overhead, we call wall check collider. All right. So we got these th two things. I'm going to have to create another constant here for the uh, wall check radius. I'm going to keep it the same because it's not really bad. What else? What else? Yeah, I'm going to create something else called let's say uh, slide factor. Let's keep it 0 0.02, right? Let's keep it like this. So before we start we added all these variables and I'm going to explain exactly what each one of, the, of them does. We have to go down here and create our 
under the grant check let's make it here void wall check All right so in here we gotta have to write down the mechanics first if we are touching a wall and we are moving towards the wall and we are falling which by default means we're not grounding and we are not grounded S slide on the wall so to do this all we have to make sure is we have to make sure that we open the F bracket here and we go we have to check the physics so we go physics 2d dot overlap circle I'll go with sir, sphere circle here you go so we have to pass as we did before the point and the radius and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the Fox and create something in front of him come on here we go so we got us we've got this thing before right the the interact it's gonna be the same place I'm not gonna change it so I'm gonna put it here wall check because we want to check if he's facing a wall which is going to be in front of him and I don't want to have it to be more than this probably because the collider of the thing is ends here so we can probably bring it slightly further which is fine yep so we're gonna check if we're touching a wall we're gonna go overlap and we're gonna put wall collider and then wall check radius the transfer that position so that position so here we make sure that we're checking if we're touching a wall the second thing we have to make sure that we're moving so for moving that means we're touch we're clicking left or right and uh, in this case if we're touching a left wall we have to make sure it's minus one if we're touching a right wall we have to make sure it's you know plus one and we have this stored in here as we did it's called horizontal value but we don't really have to sit, think we have, we have to actually check if it's minus one or plus one we have to check if it's more than one as an absolute value because basically if we if we're looking right it's plus one but if we're looking left it's minus one but in absolute it's one but it doesn't matter if we're looking left because when we look left we're not facing a wall so all we have to do is it sounds a bit weird but we have to go with math f that absolute that horizontal value bigger than one so what this means is whether we're looking left or right as long as we're touching the left or arrow keys the value will not be zero which is what we need and the next thing is we make sure, make sure that we're falling falling is quite simple we have to check the rigid body the velocity that y and it's uh, uh, less than zero that's it and the last thing is we're not is grounded so these conditions will make sure that we are able to slide you know slide but this is going to be called all the time because we're going to put it in here let's put it in the update we want to make sure that wall check we want to make sure that we call this all the time. Uh, if, it, if we put it on fixed updates, we might lose like slightly a couple, couple of frames if you're running low on frames. So we'll keep it an update. Check if we are touching a wall. Just slide on. That's it. And uh, we have to do a couple of stuff in here, but I'll do, I'll mention them later about the jump. But first of all, we can do the slide. So what what that means is. I'm going to have to do, I'm going to get the current velocity value and fix the y value into specific number. What that means is, because when you fall as a rigid body, the y, y value of the rigid body increases. So I want to fix it on the value. So I'm going to cache it. RB, I'm oh, sorry, let's call it V and RB.velocity. And what I want to do, I want to modify the y into sliding factor, slide factor, which we have. But 
The slide factor is going to be a positive value, but we're going to make it negative. So I'm just going to put minus here because if you put the speed as the, so the slide factor as 0.5, it's going to go as minus 0.5, which means falls down with a small manner. And then rb that velocity equals v. And uh, I'll tell you why I added the thing in here. Because it's going to have a purpose. Let's see if this works. But before we actually test it, we have to assign this wall check. So wall check has to come here. And this has to be wall. So what this does is it checks if we're touching the wall. Wait, I think uh, I forgot to add something in here. Yeah, the ground layer. Wall layer. So we only check the triggers that has a wall layer. Let's give it a try. Okay, okay, let's play. So here we go. Um, I want to modify one thing here I noticed is the camera bound should be 1 instead of minus 0.5. Here we go. So right now what's going to happen if, if I jump and I touch it. Oh, my bad, my bad. I should have added dial collider in here. That's it. That's a big mistake. Okay. So what this makes sure is that we have... Also, let me uh, fix it from before gameplay. Here we go. So now we can see slightly more into the right side instead of seeing a small glimpse of the wall. So let's jump. So if I jump and start touching it, nothing happens. Now let's see what did I miss. If we go to the fox wall, if we go here, wall, that's correct. Yeah, I think I missed something small. Let's go step by step. So the wall check is the wall check, which is in front. And the radius is, as we did, is 0.2. Here we go. So if, the, if, the, if we're overlapping, wall collider, yes. Radius, ground layer, that's good. And absolute value is more than 1, which is correct. And the velocity is less than 0, that's good. Let's try and make this off. And then we're calling wall check at the end, right? Correct. I'm going to debug something here. Not, not sliding. I'm going to keep this on so we can actually find the issue slight factor it's fine it's 0.1 it's not that bad so right now we should get not sliding when you play great it's not sliding so if we jump yep there's something that I'm, uh, I'm missing here Alright, I found the issue was a stupid mistake. So I was che I was checking if it's bigger than one. It should be bigger than zero. I think I was saying zero, but I wrote one. So bigger than zero means I'm clicking left or right. So what what this does is we're doing we're doing the same thing. We're getting the velocity and applying the minus one to it. So let's start with let's start making it 0.5, okay? And let's play. Let's see. So right now, if I jump and keep going right, it's gonna. It's, you see, it's gonna slide slowly. If I if I leave, it's gonna fall down. But if I go left, it's gonna fall down with a normal speed. But there's a trick in here. For example, if I jump and I go here, I can jump. I can't jump anymore. Because what we need to do here, we need to reset the jump you know, variables. And in our previous scripts, we've got this stuff here. 
We've got this thing called multiple jump, which enables us to jump more than once as a boolean, and then we decrease the number of jumps. And we apply, of course, stuff. So what I want to do, I want to um, apply as if it's jumping once. But I don't want to be, or I don't want to make him able to jump multiple times. So we can call this thing here, jump. Let's go back down. Where am I? I think I'm up, 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 yes, here. So if input that get key down, let's say, uh, oh, not here, get, get button down. Jump. We gonna jump, all right. But we have to make sure that whenever we on the wall, we can't continue the second jump because basically, let's say you jump the first jump here, that means you can multiple jump later. But if you touch a wall, we have to disable that multiple jump, which we do with the ground check. You see, in the ground check, whenever we touch the floor we reset the jumps okay so I'm gonna do the same thing in here but in order to get this one happening we need to call it once so we have to make a boolean called is grabbing or is sliding right so is sliding it's false by default and whenever we touch what is it, the wall we make it sliding true okay and if not sliding false, no, is sliding false. So that makes sure that he slides. He, we enable the boolean when we touch a wall and we disable when we don't. But we want to call the reset once. So what we have to do here is we can check if is sliding is false. That means we were not sliding before. And now we we are we reset the jump. What this does is it resets the total jump to whatever jumps we have, and then disables a multiple jump. So when we jump here, we can have a single jump. Again, if you have multiple jumps, you have to put multiple jumps through here. But I'm gonna go with single jump because it's more than enough. So let's give it a test. So we we'll go left and right. Jump. Okay, so now, now jump twice. We have multiple jumps, right? That's good. So if I jump here and it's sliding, I can jump once. See, that's fine. And the cool thing is, if we jump here by, while flying up, it's not gonna slide unless we slide down. We can do the same. So you you have to jump while pressing right and then jump go left. Um, with this we have a simple mechanics of wall sliding which can be helpful with a lot of games and you can implement your own uh, animation in here which you can play while having this jump in here like you can play when you do it here and then disable it when you're here which is not a big deal but I don't have a sliding animation here so feel free to go crazy with this and of course we have implemented the sliding along with jumping on the wall uh, with this episode, um, <laughs> we come to the end, and I hope you liked it and enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe. Also, give me any comments in below for any questions or anything else. And uh, hit the bell to get all the latest notifications. Also, feel free to join our Discord channel, where a lot of people are uh, there, and then who can help you. Also, I can help you there directly. Apart from this, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!